Chapter 1 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Wen Qin opened her eyes from her coma. The room was dark. All she could hear was the man's heavy breathing and the pain he was causing her. She tried her best to pummel her opponent. However, it was as if her fist had landed on cotton. It was all a useless act. She couldn't call out, so she could only pray in her heart. Quickly, stop. When he woke up again, the outer world had already lit up. Wen Qin opened her eyes and looked at the unfamiliar room. Her mind raced with the scenes from last night. She abruptly sat up, feeling a burst of pain. When she got out of bed and saw the small red flower on the bed, she clenched her fists. Not a dream. The bathroom door opened. A man came out of the bathroom. When she saw his face, she fell down on the bed with a look of horror on her face. How could it be him? The man was only wearing a towel. He glanced at her before asking lazily, You're awake. Wen Qing swallowed her saliva. She stood up with much difficulty, feeling nervous and uneasy. Mr. Hua. The man wiped the water droplets on his hair naturally and said, If you have anything to say, say it later. Let's wash first. Wen Qing lowered her gaze. No need, I. I still have things to do, so I'll be leaving first. Teacher Wen, don't we need to explain what happened last night? Wen Qing blushed. What else was there to say about this? Could it be that she was going to report to him that she had drank too much and didn't know what had happened? Wen Qing took a deep breath and raised her head to look at Hua Tingshan. Mr. Hua, I am very clean and do not have that kind of disease. Furthermore, I do not think that Mr. Hua suffered any losses last night. In fact, she seemed to be confident and confident, but her last sentence was spoken in a very cowardly ma -er. I know you are very clean. After all, I have already verified it. When Qing's face turned slightly red. She knew it was you necessary to say it out loud, so she felt a little awkward. I'm just asking you if you need me to do anything for you. I don't think you'd want me to send you off with a check. When Qing was stew addition, I don't need anything, I only hope that Mr. Hua can keep this a secret. That's all. Um, when Qing replied seriously. Hua Tingshan raised his good dot looking eyebrows and looked at the ski Y girl in front of him. Finally, he nodded expressionlessly. Wen Qing grabbed her clothes and bag and quickly left the hotel room. Hua Tingshan smiled charmingly. This woman. Interesting. Wen Qing only had one thought in mind and immediately left Hua Tingshan's side. In Northern City, this 27-year-old CEO of Imperial Emblem Group, Hua Tingshan, represented power, wealth and danger. Legend has it that in order for him to become the group's CEO, he did not hesitate to kill his own big brother, crippling his own second brother, and finally succeeded. If there was a person, Wen Qin would definitely not even dare to think about it and covet it. This person must definitely be the third young master Hua in front of him. Because Imperial Emblem Group was their sworn enemy. As for her, she never wanted to have anything to do with Bai's again in her entire life. Outside the hotel, she slapped herself. Are you crazy? A two-dot-legged toad is easier to find than Huatingshan, why do you have to? If that person from my family knew about this, she shook her head, not wanting to think about the consequences. At this moment, his phone rang. She took it out and took a look. It was Huatingshan. Her fingers trembled. It was the first time his number had appeared on her cell phone screen. Why did he call me? If you don't answer the phone, do you feel guilty? When the phone was about to ring, she picked it up. Mr. Hua. As compensation for stealing your first time, I'll give you a condition. At any time, you can find me to help you do one thing, except to make me fall in love with you. Wen Qing froze for a moment, then said coldly. Mr. Hua, I think you have misunderstood, I am not here to sell binoel.m. Chapter 2 You are listening at novelfull.audio. Hua Tingshan raised his eyebrows. 
Wen Qin continued, so you don't need to use my first night as an exchange for anything. Also, I will formally propose to you that you resign now. From today onwards, I will be busy with my graduation thesis. We will not meet again in the future. Therefore, I wish you a prosperous business and a happy life here. Goodbye. After she finished speaking, she hung up the phone. On the other end of the phone, Hua Tingxian smirked. We won't meet again. Was this woman hating him? Ha, yeah, since when was it her turn to decide? He pulled the phone away from his ear and stared at the busy screen. You dare to hang up on me. Wen Qing, you're the first. Wen Qing started to run away from the villa she didn't belong to. However, after just one step, she almost fell down. Damn it, how did Hua Tingxian torture her last night? This also. It was too painful. In the afternoon, she received a call from the headmaster. After that, she walked into the principal's office with a heavy expression. The principal, dressed in a proper lady's dress, looked at the slim figure of Wen Qing. Wen Qing, I know you are a talented girl and you are very smart, but our Gao family wouldn't accept an orphan as a daughter. In law, so I asked you one last time to choose our family to remain silent and lose their job. It's better that you give up your silence and stay in school. There was no emotion in Wen Qing's eyes. Almost at the same time the headmaster finished speaking, she said, I'm not an orphan. But to us, it makes no difference. She clenched her fist. Anyways, her mother was no longer here, and being an orphan would at least be better than being an illegitimate child from my family, wouldn't it? Without any hesitation, she said, I choose to stay. Lin Yul was surprised by Wen Qing's answer. This was different from her previous three answers. You won't go back on your word when you get a job. If Principal Lin is afraid that I would go back on my word, I can write you an agreement right now, I will break up with Gao Moran. Good, very good. In these two years, I have given you enough face and never stepped forward to break up your silence, but now that you are about to graduate, you have your own path to take. So, from now on, I hope you will remember your words. I will. When Wen Qing walked out of the office, she realized that it had already started raining heavily. She ran through the rain. She still had to hurry to become a home tutor. Her boyfriend was gone, and her job at her family was gone. She couldn't lose another chance now. When he reached the school gates, a familiar car stopped in front of him. The car door opened and a pair of men walked out. Men holding umbrellas for women. Wen Qing stopped in her tracks. He was about to turn around to dodge, but the girl suddenly shouted to stop him. Wen Qing. The girl ran towards her from under the umbrella and held her hand tightly. Wen Qing, I'm sorry. It was my fault. You hit me and scold me. Behind him, the man quickly stepped forward and held the umbrella above the two girls' heads. He looked at Wen Qing with guilt written all over his face. Wen Qing, I really don't know what happened yesterday. I. Looking at the two in front of her, Wen Qing didn't know whether to laugh or cry. This story is really very old. She thought it would only appear in a dog-blooded novel. One of them was her boyfriend, the other a roommate. The tragedy was that they actually carried her on their backs and rolled in the bed together. Furthermore, they were caught in an adultery trap, which was why she was so drunk. Dot Wen Qing ignored the girls and just looked at Gao Moran with a cold expression. Gao Moran, do you know why I chose you as my boyfriend among all the suitors? Chapter 3 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Gao Moran lowered his eyes and didn't say anything, but his face was full of guilt. However, Wen Qing smiled. Because you said, I'm very warm. The girl went up and blocked Wen Qing's view of Gao Moran. Wen Qing, it's my fault. I seduced the silence. It's me. I'm the one who's shameless. He's a good guy, so don't blame him, okay? Wen Qing tried her best to remain calm, glanced at the girl, and said to Gao Moran, 
they said that everyone has to pay a price for their youth, and you are probably the most painful price that I have to pay for it. Gal Moran, I have to thank you. It was you who taught me. Men are actually not as reliable as I seem. Thank you for teaching me to grow up. Sorry, Wen Qing. Gal Moran still apologized. Wen Qing sighed, then she shook her head and smiled. Gal Moran, you don't have to feel sorry for me. Now we are even, because you, I got the job I want, you don't owe me anything anymore. And you, Song Roa, remember, from the moment you jumped onto Gal Moran's bed, we weren't friends. I'll give him to you, but I also have a request for you, and that is, don't pretend to be familiar with me in the future, because I won't waste my friendship and goodwill on you anymore. I still have to hurry to class, so I won't accompany you two to have fun in the heavy rain. Goodbye. Then she took a step back, skirting the two of them as she ran to the side of the road. Because she was too confused, she did not notice the black Bentley who was about to enter the school. Dot by the time she reacted, it was already too late. She was knocked into the car. She staggered back and fell to the ground. Gal Moran, who was behind her, exclaimed, Wen Qing. Just as he was about to run forward, he saw Wen Qing propping herself up from the ground with her back facing him. Without another word, she limped to the car, opened the door and got in. There were still people in the car. She didn't look closely, she just looked at Gao Moran who was walking in through the window and shouted to the driver, take me to Qingshu Road, or else I'll have to make a fool of myself. The driver looked back at the man in the car with a hint of worry. The man's voice was melodious. Do as this lady says. The driver backed up and left the school. After walking for a long distance, Wen Qing stared out of the window in confusion. Thinking about Gao Moran, she felt really sad. Gao Moran would never know what she did last night because of him. She really regretted it now, regretted being impulsive. But now, she had lost Gao Moran, lost her friends, and lost her original chastity. Think about it. Should she define yesterday as the most unlucky adversary? By the side, a man handed over a white towel. It's all wet. Wipe it out. When Qing came back to her senses and took the towel. I'm sorry, I dirted your Mr. Hua. The man sitting beside him turned out to be Hua Tingshen, whom he had just mentioned this morning that he would never see again. Wen Qing was shocked speechless. What? You're surprised to see me. This. Wen Qing stammered for a moment. What are you doing here? Teacher Wen, should I remind you that this is my car? Wen Qing quickly reacted. That's right, she was the one who forced her into the car. Oh, sorry, I've dirted your car. I'll wash it for you when the rain stops. Chapter 4 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Wen Qing pushed open the door to get out of the car as the car pulled up to the clear learning road. Hua Tingshan said to the driver, Take out an umbrella for Teacher Wen. The driver brought an umbrella for Wen Qing and gave it to her. Wen Qing opened her umbrella and got out of the car. She turned around and said to Hua Tingshan, Mr. Hua, thank you for today. Thank you, not for that, but for that. Hua Tingshan's expression was cold. Although her words made sense, Wen Qing felt that something wasn't quite right. Take care. She took a step back, then turned around and walked towards the residential area with a limp. In the car, Hua Tingshan said to the driver, Stop the car. When the car came to a stop, he opened another umbrella and got out. He caught up with Wen Qing and held her back. Wen Qing turned her head to see that it was him and was shocked. Mr. Hua. Get in. Why? You're hurt. You have to go to the hospital. It doesn't matter how much this woman took my body, but she doesn't even know that I am injured. Dot Wen Qing lowered her head to look at her legs. I'm fine. I'll be fine after two days. Are you a doctor? You can even prescribe a prescription for me. Get in the car. 
After he finished speaking, he stuffed his umbrella into her hands without any explanation, picked her up horizontally, and walked towards the side of the car. Wen Qing screamed as the umbrella in her left hand fell to the ground. Hua Tingshen ignored the umbrella and stuffed her into the car. Wen Qing panicked. No, I can't go to the hospital. I still have to work as a home tutor. Home tutor. In other words, you're just quitting Hua Tingren's tutoring job. I. Wen Qing was momentarily at a loss for words. Because that was the truth. Hua Tingshen snorted and got into the car. He said to the driver in a cold voice, to the hospital. Wen Qing looked at the district that was just inches away from her. She was worried, but she couldn't say anything. After all, she was guilty. At the hospital, he took her to the orthopedic department. When the doctor asked her where the pain was, she blushed. Where? It doesn't hurt anywhere. The doctor looked at Hua Tingshan awkwardly and said, Miss, come to the hospital for an examination, you have to cooperate with the doctor. Hua Tingshan, who was at the side, hugged him and said coldly, do her a full set of inspections. Wen Qing hurriedly said, no need, no need. How much does that have to be? I'm not making it. You have to do it. I will pay the fees to prevent you from coming to me and saying that the discomfort you are feeling is the aftereffects of today's car accident. Wen Qing looked at him with a hint of anger. I wouldn't do that. People have ill intentions. Some people, in order not to teach my brother, say that they are busy with their graduation thesis. But in the end, because of different treatment, they lied. A person who can tell a lie can't see it on his face. Everyone can be harmless. Wen Qing panicked. I. Didn't she want to avoid embarrassment in the future? The doctor made up the list and asked the nurse to take Wen Qing for an examination. Wen Qing went out and secretly asked the nurse, how much does this inspection cost? The nurse took a look and said, over 6,000. Wen Qing immediately snatched the list from the nurse and limped towards Hua Tingshan. I want to speak to you alone. Speak. Wen Qing bit her lip. I really don't need to check. My leg is fine, it's not my leg that's hurting, it's. She lowered her eyes and blushed. Hua Tingshan frowned. What is it? She angrily raised her eyes and glared at him. My lower part hurts. Chapter 5 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Hua Tingshan looked down. Wen Qing blushed and stubbornly turned around. Anyway, you don't need to look. She pressed the checklist into his hand. I'm going back, or I'm really going to be expelled. Hua Tingshan smiled at her back, then went up to stop her. What now? Of course I want to see a doctor. I know where I'm not feeling well. How should I judge that? Who would come to see a doctor for something like this? Hua Tingshan had a domineering expression, do you want me to carry you, or do you want to obediently follow me? Seeing his serious face, she didn't think he was trying to scare her. After hesitating for a moment, she let out a depressed sigh and followed him to the gynecology department. The obstetrics and gynecology director examined her personally. She lay on the examination bed, unspeakably embarrassed. Luckily, Hua Tingshan didn't follow him inside, otherwise. Madam is too disgraceful. When the examination was over, the doctor told her to come down and put on her pants. When she opened the curtain and came out, Hua Tingshan was sitting there. The doctor said, Master San, this lady is slightly red and bleeding. She must have suffered some bruises from last night's bed incident. Wen Qing closed her eyes. She felt utterly humiliated. Hua Tingshan, on the other hand, was very calm. What kind of treatment do you need? I will prescribe medicine for her and eat on time when we get back. During this period of time, you have to restrain your sleep schedule. Even if you really need it, try not to use any tools to help you enjoy yourself. Equipment Wen Qing wondered. Did he even use tools on her? 
She had been half conscious the night before, and there were so many details that she couldn't remember them at all. So, this man looked gentle and refined, but was he a freak? She opened her eyes and looked at him. His beautiful image suddenly collapsed. What's the use of having a good body, what's the use of being handsome, he's a freak. After leaving the hospital, when Qin snatched the medicine from his hands. I won't give you the medical fees, you caused the injury anyway. She stuffed the medicine back into her bag, Mr. Hua, let's bid our farewells here. We'll never see each other again. She turned to go down the steps. Hua Tingxian smirked, you tricked me, but what was the reason for your anger in the end, abnormal? It's my business. In my opinion, what you're angry with is me, so it's a matter of you and me. Wen Qin was speechless. He really knew how to make a detour. If you can't provide a reason, then tomorrow, I hope that teacher Wen can come to my house at the set time to give Tingren supplementary lessons. Like I said, I quit. I quit. Then teacher Wen should also know that I have many ways to make it so that from now on, you will no longer be a tutor. Aren't you a bit too much of a bully? Didn't you lie first? When Qin gritted her teeth in anger and snorted coldly. Then I want more money. Is the teacher when trying to raise the price? That's right. Sure, you can have as much as you want, but you'd better not be late. He went down the steps first. After a few steps, he stopped and turned to look at her. What are you angry about? She stubbornly looked away. Speak. I just didn't expect that Mr. Hua, who looked like a modest gentleman, would actually have this kind of hobby. This hobby? What kind? You. You hurt me when I was in a coma and you're still pretending to be me. Hua Tingxian scoffed, so, you think that you were hurt by the tools. What do you mean by, think? The doctor has already said it, I can hear it clearly with my ears. The doctor was only guessing that I wouldn't use that kind of nonsense. Then how did I get hurt? Hua Tingxian raised his eyebrows, turned around and said while walking, this grandpa's size is big. Chapter 6 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Because she went to the hospital, when she went to class, she was already half an hour late. In order to make up for her mistake, she exempted the child from the tuition fee for today. By the time he left his student's house, the sky had already darkened. Wen Qing took the bus back to school. Song Ruo was the only one left in the dorm. Song Ruo looked at her with a dark expression. Wen Qing said coldly, Song Ruo, move out of the room. She went to her desk, sat down, and opened the book. NVY. Song Ruo walked to Wen Qing's side. Wen Qing, what did I do wrong? I silently slept with him because I was in his heart. Since you can't give him what he wanted, why didn't you let him go? He doesn't like you anymore. I'm the one he loves now. Wen Qing closed the book, stood up, and looked at her with eyes full of alienation and indifference. What he wants, I really can't give, because I'm not a prostitute. Also, I didn't hold him back and didn't let him go. I've already said it before, I don't want Gao Moran anymore, I'll give it to you as a gift. As for this dorm, I'll leave it to you or me. Really? Then if you move out, I won't move out. Wen Qing laughed coldly. All right then. You'd better not regret it. She didn't say anything else. She just sat down, opened the book, and began to do her exercises. Song Ruo, who was standing at the side, clenched her fists and glared at her. She snorted as she returned to her own bed. The next day, the whole school was in the gossip study of the tyrant Wen Qing's roommate, seducing Wen Qing's boyfriend, and was caught in bed. After class was over, just as Wen Qing was about to leave, Song Ruo rushed in from outside. She ran up to Wen Qing and cried out, Wen Qing, why are you doing this to me? I like you so much. Why are you slandering me on the forum? Wen Qing remained expressionless as she stood up and looked at her, being hurt by you, and seeing you two on the bed, I am truly sad and in pain, 
but I like you a lot, so when you said that you could give me a silent body and I couldn't give it to me, I already admitted it. How could I go to the forum and scold you? I already gave him to you, what else do you want me to do? She wiped her tears and walked away from Song Ruo's sad face. Song Ruo was Stu edition. So this Wen Qin was actually a dog that didn't bark at all. The truth of the matter was revealed by the two parties involved, and that a victim had actually spoken the truth himself. For a time, the two words, Song Ruo, had become the strongest in the third son of the Northern City Normal University. After all, Wen Qing was not only a super academic tyrant of Peking University, she was also regarded as a school beauty and a goddess by the boys of Northern City teachers and university. In the past, everyone was saying that Gao Moran must have saved the banking department in his previous life to gain the goddess heart. But now, everyone said, Lu Hang most likely saved the Milky Way because he was blinded by the starlight, that's why he kept the flowers unpicked and had to eat shit. Wen Qin walked out of the office building. Just as she was considering whether she should go out and find a room to rent, her cell phone rang. She took out her phone and saw that it was Hu Tingshan. Why did he call me again? Oid, she picked up the phone. Hello, Mr. Hua, hello. Yes. It's not time for the tutoring yet, is there anything the Mr. Hua would like to talk to me about? Today's weather is pretty good. Wen Qin raised her head to look. A cloudy sky. Ugh. Right. Otherwise, what else could she say? I remember that the teacher Wen said yesterday that he would come and wash my car after the rain stopped. Wen Qin. Chapter 7 You are listening at NovelFull.audio In the middle of the afternoon, Wen Qin appeared in the first floor of Imperial Emblem Group's hall under the bright sun. The driver took her to the basement parking lot and pointed to the car she'd been in yesterday. Miss One, this is the car. I'll give you the keys to the car, I'll go back first. Wen Qing felt a headache coming on as she took the keys to the car. Previously on the phone, Hua Tingshan asked her, Do you have a driver's license? She answered truthfully, Yes. She didn't lie at all. However, Having a driver's license and being able to drive seemed like two different things. She spun around the black sedan, gave a final, tisk, and prepared to get in. But before he could press the key, the back door opened. Hua Tingshan got out of the car. Wen Qin was shocked. Mr. Hua, why are you in the carriage? Isn't this my car? Can't I be up there? Oh, that's not what I meant. Isn't this car supposed to be sent to me for washing? Hua Tingshan said coldly. You don't know how to drive. Wen Qin looked at him with an expression that said, How do you know? Hua Tingshan spread his hands and said, Give me the key, get in the car. When he got in the driver's seat, she wanted to sit in the back. Hua Tingshan said calmly, I never drive for others. She thought for a moment, then stepped back, opened the door, and got in the driver's seat. As he started the car and left, Wen Qing politely said, I'm really sorry for dirtying your car and asking you to drive me there to wash my car. Yeah, because I don't want you to feel sorry for me, I'll give you a chance to do something for me before I wash the car. It's even. What is it? Accompany me for a meal. She looked at him. Eat. Forget it, I'm not hungry. Besides, it's not appropriate for me to eat with you alone. This car of mine is very expensive, the blanket that you dirty yesterday is worth over a hundred thousand, it's no longer usable now, I'll give you a fifty percent discount, fifty thousand yuan, do you want to lose money or accompany me to D.E.R.? You're taking advantage of the situation. I just learned from you yesterday, didn't you like to raise the price on the spot? She looked at him, a uh, oid. Are all the capitalists as fussy as you are? Haven't you heard? The richer you are, the narrower you are. So, what's your choice? To lose money or to eat? Eat your food. She was also a capable person. When she saw him smirk evilly, she couldn't help but feel that something wasn't quite right. 
the car suddenly quieted down. She exhaled a breath of air, feeling uneasy. Do you need to play music? She shook her head. No need. Relax, then. I'm very relaxed. Is that so? His lips curled up in a mocking smile. She was really, really relaxed. Mr. Hua, you wouldn't have done it because of what happened the night before yesterday. Are you interested in me? Hua Tingshen glanced at her. She pursed her lips when she saw his gaze. It seemed like she had been too sentimental. Hee hee, that's good. The car stopped in front of the restaurant's entrance. Hua Tingshen pointed at the back of the car and said, there's a set of clothes behind the car. Go and change. In the car. This car is very safe. He got out of the car and leaned against the door. Soon, she changed her clothes and got out of the car. He looked at her with satisfaction in his eyes. He pulled her wrist and naturally stuffed it into the crook of his arm. The two of them went upstairs together, your task today is to laugh and eat, so don't talk too much nonsense. She wondered why she felt that today was not just about eating. When they entered the dining room, Wen Qin realized that today, the person they were going to eat with was a woman. Chapter 8 You are listening at NovelFull.audio the woman in the room was beautiful and elegant. Seeing Hua Tingshan bring a woman, she was stewed for a moment, then stood up and revealed a gentle smile. Tingshan, this is. Hua Tingshan naturally smiled. This is Tingren's home tutor teacher, just call her teacher Wen. When the woman heard this, she smiled lightly, so it's teacher Wen. Hello, I'm Yi Wan Luo. Wen Qing nodded to him, hello, Miss Yi. Hua Tingshan sat down, take a seat. Wen Qing sat down beside him. Yi Wan Luo shifted her gaze away from Wen Qing and looked at Hua Tingshan. I was worried that asking you out for a meal would affect your work. No, but I brought the teacher Wen here, you don't mind, right? After all, I made an appointment with the teacher Wen first. Yi Wan Luo shook her head and laughed. That won't happen. It's good as long as teacher Wen doesn't mind, I've already ordered the dishes that you liked, I just don't know what Miss Wen likes to eat, I'll have someone bring over the menu for Miss Wen to see. Wen Qin waved her hand. There's no need, Miss Yi. I'm not picky with food. Hua Tingshan's hand naturally caressed Wen Qin's head a few times. With a gaze full of love, he said, she's not picky with food. She likes what I like. His actions caused Yi Wanlua's smile to freeze on her face. But very quickly, she smiled. Then that's good, Miss Wen has to eat more in a while. Wen Qin was even more embarrassed. This sudden act of patting her head gave her quite a fright. During Di Er, Hua Tingshan would give her food from time to time. He was as gentle as a boyfriend. Yi Wanluo didn't talk much and just ate gracefully. However, from time to time, she would glance at Wen Qing, her eyes showing no emotions. After Di Er, the three of them left the restaurant together. Hua Tingshan put his arm around Wen Qing's shoulders and escorted her to the car. Yi Wan Luo turned around and looked at Wen Qing. She said gently, Miss Wen, can I have a few words with Tingshan alone? All right, then I'll go back to the car first. Wen Qing turned around and walked towards Hua Tingshan's car. After she left, Yi Wan Luo bit her lips and looked at Hua Tingshan with reddened eyes. How have you been recently? It's pretty good. In the future, don't use this method to anger me anymore, I don't want to make you suffer. Hua Tingshan raised his gaze and did not look at her. I am not angry with you. I really think that teacher Wen is pretty good. Don't you think so? Tingshan, I understand you. I know you did it because I. Hua Tingshan looked up and smiled. You should go back earlier. I still have to send teacher Wen back to school. There's a meeting in the afternoon. He opened the door for her. Yi Wan Luo sighed, lowered her eyes, said, I'm sorry, then got into the car and left. 
returning to the car, Wen Qing hugged him and smiled mischievously at him. Hu Tingshan frowned in displeasure. What are you laughing at? You like that little sister just now, right? Hu Tingshan looked at her and his eyes widened. She pursed her lips. You're obviously right, you brought me here to provoke that Miss Yi, right? Actually, you don't have to be like this. She clearly has a good impression of you. What do you know? Don't speak nonsense in front of me in the future. With a cold face, he started the car and drove away. Wen Qing pouted. Later. They won't see each other again. She didn't want to have too much contact with such a big shot. His mother had said that rich men were unreliable. If he met a rich man, he had to hide as far away as possible. With Gao Moran as an example, she did not want to repeat the same mistake again. Of course, she might be overthinking things with Hu Tingshan. Knowing that he had someone he liked, he actually felt a lot more relaxed in his heart. At least, he wouldn't need to take precautions anymore. Chapter 9 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. He'd thought he'd let her out to wash the car as an excuse to eat with him. After D-er, he really took her to wash the car. Moreover, he was the one who watched the entire process. She was washing. This made her think of the landlord and the landlord's servant girl. After washing the car, he checked it and was very satisfied. She took a deep breath, took off her gloves and threw them aside. Mr. Hua, can I go now? Hua Tingshan smiled, sure, get on the car. I'll send you back to school. She said angrily, there's no need. I'm afraid that if I dirty your car, I'll have to go out and take care of the injured to wash the car. She turned and left the car wash. Hua Tingshan did not keep her either. He brushed past her, and she stood, kicking and punching him in the direction he had gone. In the car, Hua Tingshan saw her in the rearview mirror and couldn't help but smile. Childish. After two intersections, an unfamiliar cell phone's ringtone suddenly rang in the car. He glanced over his shoulder and saw that her bag was lying on the floor in the passenger seat. He parked the car and took out her cell phone. He frowned. What was this mess? He picked up the phone, hello. Wen Qin walked to the bus stop and was dumbfounded. Her bag was left in Hua Tingxin's car. So, she had no money, no bus pass, and no phone. It's over. How are we going to get back? Was there anything else she could do? She looked at the endless road in the distance. She should be able to reach the school before it gets dark. She was depressed. Ever since she met Hua Tingxin, nothing good had happened to her. She took a step forward and trotted. But before he could reach 200 meters, a car stopped. She took a closer look. Wasn't this the one she had just washed? The passenger window rolled down. Hua Tingxin looked at her coldly and said, Get on. She walked over, but had no intention of getting into the car. Give me my bag. You need at least an hour and a half to reverse the bus from here to your school. Are you sure you can make it back to class? She lifted her wrist to check the time and immediately opened the door to the car. Hua Tingxin smiled as he started the car and left. Someone just called you. She took out her cell phone and took a look at it before frowning. You answered. In case there's an emergency. She bit her lip. What did he say? Just who am I and where are you? Then what did you say? Is it important? This is someone else's phone call. Since you've answered it yourself, it's not appropriate for you to not talk about the contents of the call. I said, I'm your target. You left your bag in my car. Wen Qing heaved a sigh of relief and did not say anything else. Hua Tingxian raised his eyebrows. Boyfriend. A fight. She looked at him. This doesn't seem to have anything to do with the Mr. Hua. Hua Tingxian curled his lips. This woman suited his taste very well, making him want to conquer her. The car drove back to the northern city master's gate. 
When Qin got off the car and nodded at Hua Tingshan, Mr. Hua, thank you for sending me back. Goodbye. Without another word, she turned and walked back into the school. However, after walking not too far, he heard someone call out from not too far away, little Qin. When Qin looked towards the other side of the school gate, there was a Porsche parked by the side of the road. Beside the door, a tall and handsome man leaned against the car as he smiled at her. When Wen Qing saw the other party, she was overjoyed. She ran over and hugged him. On the stage opposite of my bok, Hua Tingshan's eyebrows were covered in dust. ENV the great young master of Bai family, Bai Nanqing. Heh, she seems to have underestimated Wen Qing. Chapter 10 You are listening at NovelFull.audio when Qing left by Nanqing's arms and looked at him happily, bro, didn't you say that you still need two months to return? Dad broke his leg a few days ago, so I came back early. Her face stiffened. So it's like that. Do you want me to bring you to see him? She lightly shook her head. I'm not going to meet him. You still can't forgive him, she sighed, how can I forgive you? Besides, the kind of person they are, they should be standing in the same position. Lil Qing, don't be like this. I have never treated you as an outsider. Wen Qing nodded and smiled. I know. He turned his head to look at Maybach, who had just left. The person in the car just now, was it Hua Tingshan? Yes. How did you know him? I'm his younger brother's tutor. You're still working. The card that I gave you is still useless to you. She was silent and only smiled. He sighed, that isn't by family's money. It's for my sister as her brother. But your surname is Bai. Little Qing, don't be so stubborn. I will feel sorry for you. What's there to be sorry about? I really like my current life. It's so fulfilling. Then promise me, stay away from this Huatingshan. He's very dangerous and not someone you can mess with, do you understand? She chuckled. I know, I'm not stupid. He rubbed her head. Come have dear with me tonight. You just came back. There should be a lot of meals to attend. No one's meal is as important as my sister's. What time do you want to end class? I'll come pick you up. No need. Where should I go to eat? Just send me the address, I'll go there myself. Bai Nanqing frowned. You still have to work in the afternoon. Yes. You. She smiled as she raised her wrist to look at the time, brother, I have to go in and attend class. The address for D. Er, send me a message. She turned and trotted into the school. Bai Nanqing turned around and looked at the Maybach who had already disappeared. Hua Tingshan wasn't someone who would come to send Qin to school when he had nothing better to do. What did he mean? Could it be? What did he find out? After the afternoon class, she was the first to rush out of the classroom because she still had to give Hua Tingren supplementary lessons. The villa with Hua family located halfway up the mountain was very grand. It was made up of poor two-dot-story buildings. Fourth young master Hua Tingren and fifth Miss Hua Huayan lived in the first two buildings. At the back of the house, there was a house that used to be the residence of the second young master. However, after the second young master got married, he moved out to live alone. The other building was the main building of the Hua family villa, which was Hua Tingshan's residence. Because the siblings lived alone, Wen Qing had met Hua Tingshan twice during her three months of tutoring for Hua Tingren. Once, during an interview, he gave her questions and she answered them all. The other time was because Hua Tingren's score in the entrance exam had increased. He gave her a necklace that seemed to be very valuable, but she rejected it. She never thought that she would have so much contact with Hua Tingshan in the past few days. In order to avoid him, she went straight to Hua Tingren's residence the moment she reached Hua family. When she arrived at the door of Hua Tingren's study, she breathed a sigh of relief and knocked on the door. Come in. At the door, she froze for a moment. That's not right, 
isn't this? Hua Tingxian's voice. She pushed open the door. Sure enough, she hadn't misheard. Hua Tingren was not present. The person sitting in front of the desk was Hua Tingxian. President Hua, why are you here? Hua Tingxian replied without hurry, This is my house, I'm waiting for you. Wait for me. Is there something that the President Hua is looking for me for? Of course, you will live here from now on, focus on helping Tingren study. Live here, she exclaimed. 